Hello all, welcome to my channel. Today I want to demonstrate you concept of graphical user interface in Java. And for that, I want to create a frame like this. And whenever user click on this close button, I want to close this particular frame. And I want to display the message over here on the frame with the red color and with the Times New Roman font. So let's do the same thing practically. So in Java, whenever you are doing a practical of GUI, that is graphical user interface, you can import the package that is AWT, that is uh, abstract window toolkit. You can save this program as GUI demo onejava Now, I want to create a one class and that is for example, GUI demo one And I want to implement the main. Now, how to create a frame in Java? So it's very simple. You can just create an instance of frame so you can write here that is frame f is equal to new frame and here you can write the message that is the title of your frame so i'm just writing here this is my first frame we can say that the frame is the container in which we can put the controls like button text field like this now i want to set the size of the frame so i'm just setting the size that is f dot set size you can set the width and height over here so i want to set 500 width and 300 height by default each and every frame is not visible so it is a set visible false so we need to set the visible true so you can call the function set visible true you can save this. Here you can compile your program that is Java C GUI demo one dot Java and you can run that is GUI demo one. Whenever you run this, you will get the frame over here and that is this is my first frame. You can see here that this frame has the 500 width and 300 height and it is displayed in the top left corner. You cannot close this particular frame because for that you need to implement the window adapter. Now what to write to close this particular frame? So right now you can just press the control C in the command prompt and your frame will be closed. But I want to implement the window listener for the window closing event. So what we can do? So here you can write a one class that is for example window adapter that is wind adapter which extends from window adapter here you can implement the method that is public void window closing so whenever user click on close button what you want to do so here you can pass the instance of window event and here you can call the function that is a system dot exit zero now this window adapter instance you can pass in a frame window listener so here you can write that is f dot add window listener is the function in which you can pass an instance of window adapter so you can just pass here the instance of window adapter but whenever you are using the window event we need to import one more package over here and that is import java.awt.event.star now you can save this now you can compile your program that is java c gui demo 1.java and you can run gui demo 1 now what is the biggest benefit you can close this particular frame whenever you close your frame will be closed so this is the way you can develop a first frame in which you can implement the closing of the frame also but what happened in this particular code i need to create a frame over here now i want to create my own class which extends from the frame and i want to set all this in my own class and that class i want to call from here so how we can do this so for that i want to save this program as that is gui demo 2.java now what i want to do i want to create my own class that is my frame which extends from frame now what we can do here we can write the constructor of my frame 
and here we can call the constructor of the super and that will be the constructor of the frame so this constructor will be called so you can just cut from here and here you can pass the message this is my first frame so no need to create the instance of frame now i want to call all this inside the constructor of the frame so you can just write over here this is my gui demo 2 and here you can call the constructor that is new my frame now what is the biggest benefit this my frame constructor will be called and here you can call the function that is a set size set visible and add window listener creating a class which extends from frame so we can call all the functions of the frame directly so this is set size and set visible are the function of the frame you can save this now here you can compile your program that is gui demo 2.java and you can run that is gui demo 2 what happened your frame will be launched whenever you click on close that frame will be closed you can call again and again your frame will be launched but what happened this frame is launched here in the top left corner i want to display the frame at the particular x and y for example here so what we can do we can call the function over here instead of set size you can call the function that is a set bounds what set bounds will do here you can pass the x and y x 300 and y for example 500 and I want to display frame of 800 width, 400 height. You can save this. Now you can compile your program and run again. What happens? See, this is the X300 and this is the Y500. Now you can make the changes into your X and Y. And you can make the changes into your width and height. So what we can do? Simple. I want to set here. That is the height is 200 you can save this now you can compile your program again and you can run what happens see this is my frame with the width that is you can say that is 800 height that is 400 and it is displayed at the x 300 and y 200 not only this you can write some message on the frame also for that you can write the function that is paint function so you can write public void paint and here you can write an instance of graphics here you can write some message for example g dot draw string is the function in which you can pass your message for example what you want to display i want to display Atmiya university so i'm writing here Atmiya university then you can set the x for example 100 and why for example 50 you can save this you can compile your program that is java c gui demo 2 dot java and you can run java gui demo 2 whenever you run this you can get the message over here that is atmi university that is you can say your x is what that is 100 so 100 space is here and y is 50 so 50 space is available over here you can set here proper message for example i want to set x that is 270 and y for example that is 100 you can save this now you can compile and run then you will get Atme university here if you want here in a center then you can set your y that is for example 180 now you can save this you can compile your program you will get Atme university over here now i want to set the font and i want to set the color so how we can set the font and color it's very simple you can set the foreground for example i want to set the color that is foreground color so you can write color dot for example red you can compile your program and you can run here you will get that the Atmi university is in a that is red color now i want to set the font so how we can set the font g dot set font is the function here you can pass the constructor of the font so you can write a new font here three parameter you can pass the name of the font for example times roman is the font now what is the type of the font do you want to set it italic bold or plain so you can write here font dot for example bold so i want the bold font and what is the size of font for example 25 
you can save this now here you can compile your program and run you will get the message that is Atmi University here I am getting the Atmi University with the red color and 25 font with the bold and the Times New Roman and I implemented over here the frame with the window closing also so whenever you click on this close button your frame will be closed so this is the way you can create the frame in Java so that's it from my side if you like this video then please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you very much have a nice day